What's up, YouTube? McGuigan and Morris here. Charlie. Mike. Um, today is a big day for us. It's our actually first day. This is the most exciting day that we've been waiting for forever. It's finally has come. Yeah. We got eggs. They're dropping right as we speak. We checked on her about a couple minutes ago, maybe a little bit close to an hour ago, and we saw that she was like literally peaking. She just started laying eggs. So it's pretty crazy for us because as you guys know we say it a bunch of times we don't feel like breeders yet everyone treats us like we are breeders but it's just since this is gonna be our first eggs this is our first drop our first lay it's gonna be pretty sick first clutch dropping right now yeah. um, we're gonna peek on her just to see what we got right now but we're leaving her alone just so you know she can get everything out and we'll pull that later and we'll definitely show you guys so uh, let's check her out for a little bit right how about you do Mike so so this is our cinnamon lesser, and she's being paired to our mojave. Slowly, 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 slowly. Let's see what we got there. Hold on. So as you can see, guys, I think I see three eggs already. No, I see four. Doesn't look like she's done yet, guys. So mm -hmm, she still looks thick. We'll definitely come back. For that but as you can see oh there you go just shut it let's leave her alone because she's going a little defensive there guys mommy's doing her business guys we gotta let mom do her business but as you guys can see by the my cheeks ain't going down guys <laughs> i'm real excited about this this is like i said this is our first clutch we've gotten ever so this is a big thing for us because like I said, we don't feel like breeders till we actually get a clutch and we actually have babies. We cut them, we do everything. So this is the first step, guys. Like, and it's awesome that we're both here right now, being able to see this. So, you know, we'll take you on the journey. She picked the perfect day. I yeah. was off. He was off. It. it couldn't have been any better. She picked the best day to be doing this right now. All right, guys. So until later, you guys saw that already. So we'll be back. So wait out. Peace. guys so as you know we gave her a couple hours like we said we were gonna give her enough time to at least uh, lay all her eggs we don't know how many are in there but we gave it enough time like we said uh, last time you guys saw when we looked inside it looked about around three maybe four cuz that's what Mike saw so we're just hoping recording. to double uh, so yeah there's... if we can get six listen this is the first time mom so it'd be awesome just to get six Hey, if we get more, hey. we get. But yeah, so we all know that females get a little feisty when they got their babies. And I've seen a couple of videos where they just, yeah, right on you. So we it's gotta. It's time to suit up. We gotta suit up. Let's go. Let's suit up for this one. <laughs> Let's get to this. You ready, Mike? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. Just kidding, guys. We're, We're just messing around, do guys. Come on, Don't man. worry. We gotta get all this stuff. Back off. to business, guys. Right, let's go. So, like we said, we do have a, a clutch of eggs. They finally dropped. Mike, it's been forever, right? <laughs> We've been waiting for too long. It feels like it's been forever. So now it's time for us to finally pull these eggs. This girl has dropped. Um, she's done. We've actually asked a few breeders that actually coiled up. No, well, she's coiled up. So they told us that's it. We're ready to go and we need to move. So we're going to show you guys exactly. So come on in. This is our cinnamon lesser girl that was paired to our Mojave male. As you can see, there's eggs in there. You see the girl. Hold on, oh, guys. It looks like about six or seven. That's looking pretty good. So we're gonna pull her and then we're gonna we're gonna weigh her out and everything else. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm trying to get her attention so Charlie can get a good grip on her. So I'm gonna have to turn her a little bit somehow. There you go. Perfect spot right there. Yeah. She's being good. Oof. Make sure you watch your face. 
She's a good mama. All right, guys. Hold we got, on. Got about seven girls, seven babies in here. But we're gonna close that real quick. She's gonna we're, weigh her out. See how much she weighed. See how much she lost. Wow. Run. Run nine. Oh, one thousand two. Uh. 1020, 1020, 1020. Yeah, 1020. About 1020. So we're gonna put her away in a separate tub right now, just so that we're not, you know, we can clean her off. We gotta clean her, get all that egg scent off of her so she loses all that, like, uh, that motherly uh, instinct. instinct. So I'm just gonna check her real quick to make sure she's empty, no eggs bound, and she feels clean. She feels good. So we're gonna put her in this tub and we'll clean her later. And then now we're gonna get our eggs, guys. So we actually have clutch cards made out for us. This is our clutch card logo, and then we have our clutch card in the back. We put already basic information. Now we're gonna put her weight, and we're gonna weigh the clutch, you know, just for our for our information. Mm -hmm. So we said 1020, right, Mike? Yes, sir. 1020 grams. So let's pull the eggs and weigh it up. So Look come in close eggs. if you want. Look at all these eggs. It looks like seven good eggs we're gonna have to candle them we'll candle them inside of our our other room so that we can uh we can i don't know if you guys can see maybe the glare is in the way mike put your hand up real quick there you go see the seven eggs so there you go guys so we're gonna pull them real quick so let's see what happens all right let's put them in here it's two mike come on i gotta pull some bro you're pulling all of them man what are you doing there you go Ooh, they're nice and warm. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna candle these because they feel like they uh they rolled a little, so we'll definitely do it. Mike, cut it. So we're gonna clear this out. Actually, no, I can't because the bowls. Fire. Let's just put. Let's clear it out. And we'll see if we can weigh the eggs by itself. So we'll put two there. Put two here. And put two on top, maybe. I'm trying to secure the cargo here, guys. And we'll put one more. What do we got? Let me see. 528. So she's pretty small, but they're worth it. She laid seven. Uh, we got seven eggs. And we'll check them so we can see how much are fertile or not. So, ready to go to the other room? We'll see you in the next scene. See you in the next scene, guys. All right, guys, so as you know, we gotta get Mama cleaned. She got all that egg scent on her. We wanna get all that off of her so she doesn't have that motherly scent so she doesn't rail us every time we get into her, her tub. So yeah, we're just gonna clean her off with some soap and water, and then uh, that's about it, so let's get to that. This also helps to get her back onto feed, hopefully sooner than... than uh, she yeah. lost a lot of weight, so we wanna get her on feed. She's ready to take a bath. Look at that. How you doing, Mama? You did a good job. Eggs. That's what she's looking for. You did a good job, Mama. Feels empty, right? Feels like an empty bag. Come on, girl. I know, I know. Here we go. She's gonna use some lukewarm water so she doesn't get shocked by the cold or anything. Look at that, guys. She's looking thin. Oh, let's see. Look at that right there. She looks real thin. This girl lost around 600 to about 500 grams. So, like I said, we're just trying to get all that scent off of her. So that she could uh, go right back to normal, go back to feeding. Because she was at a big weight. 1600, 1500 around that. So we want to get her back that back up to that. So we're trying to get her back on that quick because she's uh she's pretty skinny. We don't we don't want that to happen to her. Oh, there she goes. All over the sink. Come on, girl. Just look how beautiful this girl is, guys. Gorgeous pattern. Mm, no, I think we're almost done. I'm not gonna put her back inside the uh, the bin because obviously her scent is still in there. So we're gonna take her right to the tray. Charlie, behind the camera, or on camera, 
just uh, cleaned her tub already, so we disinfected that with alcohol. So she's not gonna get into any of that. Well, not alcohol, we disinfected it with the, the chlorhexidine. Yeah, sorry. We did that. But yeah, everything should be fine now. And we're gonna get her back over there. So we'll take you there now. All right. guys so we're in uh, our incubator room right now you see our incubator behind us we mm -hmm. had it warming up this egg box right here we have hatch right with um, an, a dragon hatch tray that we just got actually yesterday which is awesome because I think that's exactly what helped us get to these clutches we have a sensor push that's also going to tell us what the humidity and the temperature is I've been having this on for what about a month now Mike about yeah I've been having these prepped just in case so first of all before we put these in there we're gonna have to to um, candle them. these eggs because they were all separate they're all kind of loose so we just want to make sure we get the the right spot for the veins and everything so we're gonna do it now so the lights are gonna go off and you'll see that so all right guys so right now as you can see it's dark in our room we shut off all the lights because we're gonna candle these eggs um they did move a little bit so we just want to make sure we get it placed the right way inside these egg boxes so we're gonna candle about two or three maybe for you guys and then we're just gonna put them away because we want them to get in that incubator cooking already so let's do that right now i got my phone with me so that's the light that you guys see sorry about that so let's just get to this one right here so let's look for those veins nice veins and then that circle is right there on top i'm not sure if you guys can see it you see the little air bubble right there it's right it's there it's hard to see just because of the light but well it's right here where my thumb yeah, is in case you guys sure do see it. see it but we do see veins so this one is a good egg right there so mm -hmm. let's put it inside the egg trays and right there that's one let's uh let's go with this one right here so we do have veins we're, we're good right there um, trying to find that little bubble. Oh, right here. Really right there. There you go. Yes, right there. So, there you go. If you guys can't see it, probably not. It's right here. So, like I said, good veins on this one. You guys can see it. There you go. There's the bubble. Alright. Move that, Mom, can you grab that sensor push one real quick? Yeah. I'm gonna do one more. Alright guys, so here's the third one. See right there? See that bubble? I'm not sure if you can see it moving. Right here. It sucks on camera. Well it's it's right there guys. I know if you know you can see we see what we're seeing, so that helps you right there. So make sure that bubble's on top right there. So into the egg tray it goes. Go ahead. All right, guys, so we just candled all these. We got them all on top like we should. We got all the, uh, they're all in there secured and safely now. So now we're going to, we got to get these in the incubator quick. So I'm going to put this lid on. Shout out to Dragon Hatch. Love these trays. These trays are really, really nice. Let's put these babies in here. And there you go, guys. They're ready to go. I can't really see. But anyways, they're in there. Mike, want to finish off seeing what's on there? So guys, like we said, we have a cinnamon lesser to a Mojave. Her weight was 1020 grams. Their weight was 528 grams. And we have seven eggs, seven lays. So it's looking pretty good, guys. All right, guys, so now you can see we put our eggs in our incubator. They're all stored away. They're all secured in there, guys. I'm going to be looking at this damn thing for 50, 60 days now. <laughs> it's like they say, you can't watch... Uh, a wall freaking dry, like a, a painted wall dry, so we're gonna be looking at that freaking. Can you watch an egg hatch? Yeah. I can. <laughs> I think we might have to get a GoPro, just put it right here, just so we can watch it 24 7. While I'm at work, too. Yeah. But, right. So, quick shout out to, you know, we're wearing people's gear, so we gotta give them the shout out that we always, they always deserve. Mike, who are you wearing? I'm wearing the Naked Breeders, or like people call them, the Naked Breeders. <laughs> but yeah. Awesome um, folks, we met him in Arlington, gave us shirts, so BAM! Like Wait, Billy you said, too fast. Like Billy said, right not there. slacking on the not back. Not slacking on the back. Check them out, IG, Facebook. Yeah, and also Lager Home Geckos. That's another person that's with them. Yep, and I'm rocking right now our man Benny from Jack Morse. Appreciate. Get Jack. Awesome guy. Is he slacking on the back? Oh my god, he's slacking on the back. Man, you're slacking, brother. Jeez. You're slacking, brother. But yeah, so I guess this is our YouTube video, guys. We wanted to take you on our journey for everything. 
You guys see it firsthand, Mike. We guys hope you enjoy the video. We we hope you enjoy the experience that we had. Like we said, this is our first clutch. This is McGuigan Morph's first clutch. Bam, brother. Congrats. And hopefully, Congrats to you who are all our supporters. As soon as we cut these babies, in my eyes, we are certified breeders. Finally. And Benny, we have those T-shirts, brother. Yes. We have not wore. We've received Jack <clears throat> T-shirts that say "Certified Breeder" on the background, on the back. We're not wearing We're not those wearing until these hatch. Until they hatch. But yeah, guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you enjoyed the experience that we had. Hope, hopefully, we can just share the experience with you. This is insane. These are our first. This is our first clutch. Like I said, it's just I'm lost. And we for got words. at least. Three more coming, so our year will be with four, and we're proud of that. We're proud of just one. We told you guys we're waiting for the first one. That's the most anticipated. Didn't expect this one to come the way it did. I'm hyped. Mike, you're hyped. I know that much. I hope you guys are hyped. So make sure, what do they got to do, Mike? Make sure you guys like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe and share the video. Why not share it? Share it with your friends. Share it with your mom. Share it with your dad. Share, share your, with your favorite friends. Irish brothers out there, guys. Yeah. This is Charlie. I'm Mike. Slancha. Drink up. Stay safe out there. Appreciate you all. See you next time.